The first suspect was arrested yesterday and charged with felony and misdemeanor drug counts. They remained in jail as of earlier today, and they were also scheduled to appear in court today. 36-year-old Chase Elliott Webb of 34th Street Court Northwest in Hickory was arrested yesterday by Newton police officers. He's charged with felony possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Webb was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility in Newton under $8,000 bond. A district court appearance was scheduled today. 34-year-old Justin James Bernard of Edison's Bright Way in Newton was arrested yesterday by Conover police officers. He's charged with possession of methamphetamine and possession of a stolen firearm. Bernard was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $3,000 bond. A district court appearance was scheduled for today. The next suspect is charged with habitual larceny. Police were brought to the attention of this suspect following a theft from a grocery store in Southwest Hickory. 56-year-old Betty Catherine Wilfong of 7th Avenue Northwest in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police last Saturday on one felony count of habitual larceny. On September 18th, police were notified of a larceny that occurred September 15th at the Walmart neighborhood market on Highway 70 Southwest in Hickory. Wilfong was identified as the suspect. A warrant for her arrest was issued. She was taken into custody without incident at her residence. Wilfong was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $20,000 secured bond. She remained in jail as of earlier today. A district court date is scheduled for October 12th. 41-year-old Joshua Allen Ball of 8th Avenue Northeast in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police Sunday on one felony count of breaking and entering a building and one misdemeanor count of violating the restrictions on a release order. He was arrested after officers responded to a domestic-related break-in. Ball was taken into custody without incident at his residence. He was released on $11,000 secured bond. He has upcoming court dates scheduled in October on other charges, but there were no court dates listed as of earlier today on the charges filed on Sunday. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.